Welcome back, everyone. We want to talk about St. Patrick's Day and keeping you safe because, of course, a lot of folks are going to be drinking over the weekend, and we do not want you to get a DUI, so please don't drink and drive. Here to talk more about uh, what that involves is April Shafroth. She's a DUI expert at Arizona DUI Process. Thank you so much Thank you for, for being us. here. We appreciate it. So I'm following up on some of the... Information that was sent to me about statistics last year 223 DUI arrests over St. Patrick's Day that was Friday and Saturday alone why when you have Uber and Lyft so prevalent and so inexpensive exactly St. Patrick's Day is known as the largest binge drinking day of the whole entire calendar year and you don't have to be Irish to celebrate <laughs> this and is it's true it's unfortunate because we all know that there's Uber and Lyft and other ride shares and designated drivers but people don't take advantage of that um, 81 of those 223 people had extreme DUIs which means that could be up to four months in prison you could lose your license for three years so it's a big deal so that's where we're here through AZDI process to talk about alternatives and then if you do get convicted that's where we come in to kind of walk you through step by step. Well it's also an education process to talk to people about what is actually involved. What first of all is the legal blood alcohol level? Good question. So in Arizona we're a zero tolerance state but which means you could technically have just a sip and it would be in your body but 0 .08 is what they're considered to be intoxicated for a DUI. Okay. And then extreme is a .15 or above. And then okay. there's a super extreme which would be uh, point two and above. So what are the different punishments? So basically in Arizona, the first DUI offense can range, average cost is $10,000. So for your first DUI offense, you have jail time, you have to go through um, a several different steps, which is what I come in to help walk you through. You have to get an interlock in your system. Um, I use a company brought. called, yeah, in ToxLock, you put this in your car. It's mm -hmm. the minimum of six months up to a year or longer. Um, you may have house arrest, mm -hmm. which this is considered um, an ankle bracelet. So it kind of provides an invisible fence around your home. So a lot of different um, punishments, um, the fines, the fees, jail time can be up to $100 a day. People don't realize that. Um, it affects your insurance. So and counseling, you'll have to take traffic survival school. So a lot of different avenues, even for your very first offense. So that's where we, through DUIprocess.com, say, okay, you know, with the top of the line vendors and discounts and just mm -hmm. really guide you through how to do that because it's so overwhelming and people don't understand you could lose depending on your position you could lose your job in different fields you super tons of ramifications well on top of like you were talking about the financial costs there right. are also those long-term costs which could impact you in the future absolutely so um, as a DUI you're not eligible for even the basics of life insurance for mm -hmm. a certain amount of time people don't understand that so uh, lose your license in different places for working so it can can affect you financially, it can affect you where you can't drive if you're a commercial driver's license, it affects you that way as well. Talk to me about the incarceration versus the bail costs. What is the difference there? Good question. So it depends on the case. Um, so your first offense, it's a minimum of 24 hours in jail, but it could be depending on the case, it could be anywhere from a week. You can um, opt to do home arrest depending mm -hmm. if the judge lets you, um, and that's where you would do an uh, alcohol or ankle bracelet monitoring. So um, it's an insane amount. The attorney's fees are $2,500. So fines, fees for that would be up to ten thousand, or up to a total of ten thousand dollars. So do not drink and drive. Do it's not very drink expensive and drive on so many levels. What did you bring here? These so goggles? these are fun. These are um, the type of goggles that you put on that talk and measure what your blood alcohol content is. Because a lot of us, when we go out for happy hour, especially in St. Patrick's Day, mm -hmm. most of you start. A lot of us start after work, and we have a short window, and we just pretend that we're Irish and do it um, as much as we can. <laughs> and so uh, your body takes an hour um, to process one drink. So if it's a glass of wine or a beer or a shot of alcohol, 1.5 ounces, it affects your body all the same. I mean, it takes an hour per drink to process out of your system. So if you think if you have four or five drinks in a two-hour time frame on St. Patrick's Day, that's going to take a long time. So these glasses um, we use for a lot of to demonstrate how distracted your vision is. Mm -hmm. So when you have even your first drink, it can dim your vision, it can slow your motor skills. You know, people say I'm going to have food, alcohol, um, appetizers, Does and drink really, my water. Really matter? It at all and it depends so you know a lot of times people saying you know I'm tall I must have I've had a huge dinner that's fine it that doesn't really matter it affects you all the same it just is a matter of how long it takes so there is no magic fix other than time you know caffeine and coffee water no you'll have better luck if you run around the parking lot for an hour and a half compared to eating a 
you know, appetizers. Exactly. So it's it's crazy. Such valuable information. Thank you so much. Thanks. We appreciate it. I want to refer people to the website. It's azduiprocess.com if you have more information yeah. uh, that you need. And, and obviously, it's free. It's free. Mm -hmm. We'll put some more information on our website. Thank you. The most important thing is do not drink and drive. Do not drink and drive. Yeah. Thanks for having Thanks us. Thanks for being here. Yeah, we appreciate, appreciate it. it. All right. When we come back, more Arizona Daily Mix. We'll talk about Pat's roast last night. Boy, was it a good time. Don't go away.